Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. Here we're going to solve some more equations that involve absolute value. What we're going to find are that these equations are going to require multiplication and division to solve, and so we'll be getting practice with that as well. So if you have 2 times the absolute value of x is 18, how do you think you go about solving that? Well, we want to get this all by himself, and we're multiplying it by 2. So what we need to do is do the opposite of multiplication, which is what? Division. So we'll divide the left-hand side by 2, and when we do that, we must do exactly the same thing to the right-hand side, which means we'll divide him by 2. Now you see you have a 2 on the top and a 2 on the bottom. They'll cancel, which just means they're dividing out. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So effectively, everything basically disappears there. And on the left-hand side, you still have the absolute value of x, and on the right-hand side, you have 18 divided by 2, which is 9. Now, you're not done because you haven't solved for x. You've solved for the absolute value of x. All right, so how do you figure out what x is? And I taught you before, when you get down to this point where you have the absolute value of your variable is equal to something, you have two solutions. The first one is that x is equal to 9, just like you'd think. But the other solution is that x is equal to negative 9. And both of these are valid solutions, which means that this equation, because it has an absolute value sign, has two uh, valid answers. And that's because if you put 9 up here, absolute value of 9 is 9 times 2 is 18, so it works. If you put negative 9 in here, then the absolute value of negative 9 is also positive 9 times 2 gives you 18. So these two values both work and both satisfy the equation. So we'll just do a couple more to give you a little practice with this kind of idea. What if you have negative 7 times the absolute value of the variable t is equal to 21? Same sort of thing. We'll just take a second to write the equation again because now we need to do what? Division. Because here we're 